Welcome everybody to week two of the podcast, Buck and Brock Number Show. Two. Buck, Brock, Brock, and our new statistician back there, Swing Dog. Swing Dog. Oh, yep, Mr. Swing Stats. Let's. We're gonna go into some interesting topics today. We're gonna go with the biggest one of the weekend. The fight what took over. Yeah, absolutely. The two fights, technically, if you really think about it. Yeah, but they're actually going was. into that fight, Brock. Who do you think was gonna win between Khabib and McGregor? Hello. Yep. Um, I thought McGregor was just because really? I'm a McGregor fan. But oh gosh, I can honestly tell you from the bottom of my heart that I absolutely despise that man. Why? Because he's good. Is he that good? Because he's got dominated by Khabib. It wasn't even close. It was here. I didn't watch the fight, everybody. So I really, I, all I know is he lost. Oh, he got absolutely. Assume, he got absolutely. It was dominated. a TKO, right? I don't. What I don't like about McGregor is I know it's a fight. I know you're going to go into Like, that's your sport. That's where you're getting paid is beat up a guy. But some of the stuff that he says to people, like, could be going about his family. I know he's really Going cocky. about his country. I going know against his religion. Like, that's just some stuff, like, you cross the line. And <laughs> yeah, and obviously. He paid the price for it because yeah, we went in there. Put it to him. The first round, Dominate took him down the whole fight. Second round, he landed that right hook. Right <laughs> Right across so he the knocked, face. Did he knock him out? Or so, was no. Like, so, in the second round, he knocked him down with a right with hook. With an overhand right. Yeah, and got on top of him and dominated that round. Next round, third round was kind of close. Ground Mc, and pound? Yeah, ground and pound. But McGregor landed more f- significant strikes that round. But then a fourth round, Khabib just got on top and just choke cold. So and, was a and McGregor quit like the man <laughs> he is facing an actual fighter. Swain, did you watch the fight? I did watch the fight. Yes. Who did you who did you have going? Who did you want to win that fight? And what do you think of it? Before we get into the well, aftermath of it, as a proud Irishman, Love I'm that. a McGregor fan. But <laughs> after watching the fight, I will say I respect Khabib quite a bit for the the whooping he put on McGregor. Definitely, yeah, definitely. it was definitely I mean, whooping. And then the and then the real fight happened with Khabib. What was the whole thing? Okay, so let so me. So Khabib jumped over. Am I right? Jumped yes, over, over the, cage, the cage. Went in like a Spartan kick straight at McGregor's team member. I heard McGregor's team member landed one on Khabib. It was, it was McGregor's jiu-jitsu coach. Yep. <laughs> it was insane. Sorry. So this is what happened. That's weird. That's so four funny. months ago, McGregor was in Brooklyn with a Khabib fan bus going by with people that knew Khabib. Right. And so McGregor took it upon himself to say, hey, let me throw a dolly at the bus. Injured people and now, crashed the Now, a dolly the is the thing, like, you put a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, store. like, you carry, like... This thing is heavy. It can do damage. Yeah, can do, <laughs> he, like, threw like, like, he threw it He threw it like a Frisbee. And he got arrested for it. But Khabib said, you know what? This is personal now. And then McGregor was taking shots at him. So right after the fight, Khabib was getting mess talked to by this by McGregor his team member. Side. Yeah, and he jumped the fence when Spartan kicked in. And what's crazy is that McGregor tried to jump the fence... To get involved. To get involved with it. And then Khabib's members try to jump the fence to go involved too. McGregor, bop, left hook to his face. And then that's when McGregor got jumped because Khabib's team members went after him. One guy came from the crowd. Some guy in a red shirt came in just <laughs> hammer fisting on the top of this guy's head from behind. So is he getting arrested too? No. So this is what I've come to find out. So none of those three guys are getting the, McGregor, that jump. McGregor, Khabib, no. no one's getting arrested. No. So this is what happened. McGregor's or Khabib's team members. There's three of them that jumped McGregor. Mm-hmm. No press or no charges being pressed. No, they're fine on that. Visas though, that's a, that's a different story. That's mm-hmm. gonna be interesting. Khabib, his two million dollar check from winning the fight still being held because he Why? still because he, he had to fight. look from the NAAC, the NAS, Nevada Athletic um, convention. Commission thing. Yeah, sure. convention thing. Yeah. And so they still have to look into that and see like full video on like why he did this, what happened, and stuff. McGregor already got his money. But he's still looking to his one. They're both suspended from getting paid right now for 10 days, which doesn't make sense because McGregor already got paid. But somehow they're both suspended for 10 days, and then they're going to go on with it. But a quote came out today from Dana White saying he will absolutely not have his title stripped. He shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. It's ridiculous. Defending his country. That's absolutely ridiculous. And this is what say would say. Right? Ab- yeah, unreal. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> but what's crazy is you were going for McGregor. I was. I and just, now what do you think after all this stuff? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I wanted McGregor to win just because, like, he's, I mean, I've watched him fight and stuff. But, mm-hmm. I mean, when I saw that this guy, like, wrestled bears when he was seven years old. Did you guys yeah, see that nine video? nine years old video and he this just was wrestling a bear. like, tackling a brown bear. Yeah. 
and they kill people. Well, it's, pe- it's crazy as people don't, like, to a normal I knew, fan... I, right then I knew yeah. McGregor was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> to a normal fan that doesn't follow UFC, you have Khabib, who was 26-0 going to the fight. I did see that. Was he was. <laughs> people don't know, though. You know how he wears that crazy wig thing? Yeah, what he is was, that? He was an ex-Russian spec up. He was in a so Russian a military. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he killed for people him. for a living before he started fighting. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he just absolutely is a oh shit. man, and he just dominated McGregor. It was a it was a great. What do you fight, think, Swinney? What do you think about the whole aftermath of the fight? Honestly, man, I think it's just the nature of the UFC. Right. I mean, yeah. it's two fighters. They both obviously have pride in their own abilities. Yeah, definitely. Um, and one goes at another about their yeah. fighting ability and and other stuff outside the fighting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and it was I entertaining. Think, I think, yeah, right. it was well, entertaining. entertaining. It, I mean, it definitely is going to make the ratings go up. Yeah, I yeah, probably got a nose sure. complaint in my apartment. I'm not going to lie. I was screaming. Right. I mean, big fight. It was a big fight. Me and you next <laughs> week? No. We say no to fighting. My mom said use my words. My mom said use my fist. Well, there you go. Uh, right. Moving on. Let's go on to a little bit nicer sport. You hit some stuff, <laughs> but you're not necessarily hitting people. Let's go with baseball. Let's go with baseball. The championship series coming up. I mean, there's only one game. I so believe left. Dodgers. Right. Dodgers going to Atlanta. Take game four, right? Yeah, it was in four. They um, lost. They one went six to two. Yep. Uh, well, Machado did his thing. Machado finally showed up in the postseason. Yes. He hasn't um, done literally anything. Probably the same amount of hits uh, going into that game. Houston beats Cleveland. Houston dominated Cleveland. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't really a very good series. Yeah. And then um, you got Milwaukee beating Colorado. Um, not really surprised there. Not either. either. Milwaukee, With the way Milwaukee's playing right now. 11 in a row. <clears throat> yeah, 11, 11 in a row. 11 g- <laughs> games in a row they won. They definitely got hot at the right time. They really did. and I'm wor- But I'm just worried about the rotation against the Dodgers. You know? I'm worried about... I'm not worried about their bullpen. Their bullpen's great. I've actually, I don't think I'm particularly worried about the rotation. They, I don't think so last either. Series against the Rockies, they give up two runs, and I both know. those runs were by the bullpen. Yeah, in the ninth the, inning. The but Brewers I just feel like they don't have that like stellar ace. And the that, Dodgers do. They have Clayton Kershaw. Clayton okay, Kershaw. he threw one game where he went eight innings, but we're gonna talk about where's that one game. One game, eight out. innings. Which is let's let's do a little stat real quick. I want to look up Kershaw's postseason stats. We talked about this last episode. I said, don't look this up. Yeah, because you don't want to be wrong. What? Okay, two years ago, whatever, or last year, it's against the Cardinals. A little bit against the uh, Postseason Astros, pitching. Let's go to his career. So you're... So you are Me. saying, I want this guy who is 8-7 with a 4 ERA in a postseason so to go out there and win a game for me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's why the Dodgers haven't won a World Series since 1988. Wow. Yeah, I, I went him. there. Only because of him. Not because of you, Darvish, last year? I mean, he did have a chance to win game five. I mean, Darvish laid an egg. And he did, too. He threw a first great game, but when it came game five, when they needed their Cy Young pitcher. As our friend Todd Brassfield and Michael Horton would say, it's the way of the road. It's just the way of the road. They're also the same people that say stay average while playing a sport. What are you going to do? You're not wrong, but anyway, yeah. Swing, have- uh, swing dog. What do you got for us with uh, those three games? How they played out? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think I think for me, um, it, it pretty much just went the way I thought it would. Yeah, exactly. I mean, We've the, all predicted this. The like, teams that ended up winning were the teams that I would have picked. I mean, I thought Colorado had some momentum. No. With no, Milwaukee nothing. the way they're playing, <laughs> I you're just, absolutely wrong. Just wrong. <laughs> with Milwaukee the way they're playing, I don't think the Rockies had even a slight no, shot. I don't think so. Either. Not even with their lineup, huh? No. Not at all. Not at all. But I, in my opinion, though, I don't think there's a team even close, top to bottom lineup, rotation, bullpen is close to the Astros. I don't think so either. It's I was. I think they're locked to get to the World Series. They're locked. I don't. And think probably to win the World they, Series. I don't see it going past five games to win the World Series. You have Verliner going out there who's a bulldog. We can check Garrett his postseason Cole. stats. I'm not worried about him. Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole. Dallas Kai Cole. Morden. McCord's out of bullpen is now. In a bullpen yeah. right now, right? Him coming out of bullpen just throwing two seam, two seam. Slurp. Little slurp, knuckle curve, whatever it's called. Yeah. Have that, dude. Osuna. 
He can He's been good for them. He is. Been very good. He's for always them. been good. He just likes to hit women. Which is not, not right. Good. Not no. Absolutely not a good thing. But I mean, he still can throw a baseball, I guess. So we got a good NLCS coming up: Milwaukee, LA, and then the Astros. Are we gonna go with the Yankees or Red Sox on that? Yankees, like, Red Sox. Yeah, who are you going um, to finish that series? It's two one right now. As I think we do Bo- this video. I think Boston uh, finishes up at home. I think so too. Porcello, Porcello, Porcello against the Yankees, very good. Very well. I saw in five starts, three and zero with two two five ERA. That's not bad at all. Absolutely, definitely good, uh, Red Sox. How about there. this though? Questionable decision that I want to talk to you about as we're both pitchers and both maybe be interested in coaching one day. Sure. You never know. Aaron Boone and his decision to keep in Severino as long as he did. So Severino already gave up what, Going back three to that, runs. Yes. Um. Bef- before he, I mean, the game started. He warmed up at like seven thirty-two, or no, it was something like yeah, it was like seven thirty-two, and game time was at like seven forty. He had eight minutes to warm up. Yeah, he showed up later, something like that. Something, That's some ha- something that came happened. Out today. Miscommunication, but he had eight minutes to warm up. And then he's can you confirm in. that, Swing Dog? I can neither confirm nor deny that that's yes, the truth. He was not Good. in New York, but I was, was watching ESPN and they had like uh, Larry Rothschild, I think is their pitching mm-hmm. coach's name. Well, they showed him like coming up to Severino. He was warming up and he goes, uh, first pitch is at seven forty. You can hear, they can like see what he's saying, and he's like, let's get going. And he's like warming up with the catcher on the outfield grass. It's like that's insane. To me so first, and then he's, you but that. you can tell he's only throwing ninety five in the game. It's not 98, no, it's not 100. And it, he, so I don't understand this. <clears throat> so you have a guy who's already given up three runs, who in his last stat had four, or last appearance had four walks and four innings. It was pulled out to four innings, he only giving up two hits. So you have a guy who's got just walking people, he's giving up three runs already, getting hit a bit, about to go through the lineup again for the third time, going to the fourth innings. 3 0 is a close game in postseason baseball. That yeah, can turn I around mean, one of the swing, especially with the teams that are playing. Absolutely. And you keep them in the game. I mean, I saw a stat. So kind of your the lot, the order, uh, the third time against Severino was four for seven off him. You can't yeah. keep him in the game. You gotta pull him up through the third inning. Go to that bullpen that you spend so much money, trade all these trade assets I for. I just, you go uh, I just think no matter who pitched that game, Red Sox threw a tee off. It was still three zero going to the fourth inning compared yeah. to it blowing up to seven after the how it was. I think like they scored five in the second, right, or five in the. Th- the thing, I, the thing I noticed about Severino yesterday is just every pitch he was throwing that was getting hit, it's middle quadrant. Yeah. Like middle third. His misses are not. Terrible. It's middle, middle. It is middle, middle almost all the and time. Middle, or middle, middle, middle to the up big leaguers belt. are uh, missiles mm-hmm. yeah. and home runs. 95 down the middle with no movement for them is now like chicken fried steak dinner. A uh, hundred is a different story. You can throw that down the middle. But even still. Yeah, yeah you're right, you're right. It was um, just interesting with that. I just don't think it was the best decision on Aaron Boone's part. I think Yankees are done. I think I don't think they're – Which it's just so – Severino, man, how he dropped off this season from starting up that – He was a Cy Young candidate. He went first. And the second half of the year, he really fell off. He really just – Fastball command went down. Went to bed literally the whole entire second half of the year. Yeah. He ended up with like a 3-3-6, I'm going to go with, ERA to finish the year when yeah. he was at like a 1-9 or something like that yeah. first half. yeah. He was really getting good. two runs in a in a whole half of baseball. Just right. <sighs> man, Red Sox, Red Sox against the Astros. We're going with definitely Red Sox, Red Sox, Astro- Swing Dog, Red Sox. Who do you have winning it all? Swing Dog. What are you going Astros, with? Astros, man. Houston Astros, Astros. Dodgers. Think- Who do you got? Astros. Good for you. Bandwagon. I'm just kidding. Bandwagon. Really? Let's move on. Are you from Don't LA? even start. Are you there. from LA? I am from. San Diego. <laughs> so what, San Diego. Why aren't you going ah. to the Padres then? Because they're out of it. All right, moving on. Whatever. So let's. So last week in our first episode, we talked about our picks, and we went over our NFL picks. Well, I'll pick. give. I give. I'm a person that gives respect when respects due. You picked the Bills, and I looked back at Sweeney and said, quietly and with my lips, saying, "You're an idiot. You the picked the right game. Huh? What happened? America. You picked the right game. <laughs> America. What happened, Sweeney? Yeah. What happened? The Bills won. Yeah. Guess what? We still got the same number of picks right. We were Josh eight. Allen for MVP. Eight wins. Wow. Okay. He threw for like 86 yards in that game. Doesn't matter. Got him to win. Yeah. Josh he, Allen did not play well. He in did that not. Game. I don't think he got them to win, man. I Whatever. think it's the Bills defense. Whatever. He, what, <laughs> something, though, I want to give you credit, but you don't even know about. People do forget the Bills were a playoff team last year. I know that. They had Tyrod Taylor. Wasn't, but it wasn't because of Tyrod Taylor. It was because they had a very good defense that was consistent all year. 
Their defense was top five in the NFL last year. I think year. it was also because of Tyrod Taylor, I don't, too. Oh, really? Because it's Tyrod Taylor starting Cleveland anymore. No, because they have lead. a number one draft pick. That make, what are you what saying? Are you, I'm saying that Tyrod Taylor was not. Swing Dog, your opinion on this. Tyrod Taylor or the Bills defense the reason why the Bills made the playoffs last year? The Bills defense. Thank you. I mean, he That's even the take. sole reason? That's Yes. Tyrod didn't play well, huh? He, Tyrod Taylor is. Tyrod. I'm sorry, Tyrod. It's Tyrod. Tyrod, Tyrod Taylor is, is a okay, bottom third NFL quarterback Absolutely. at the best. Okay, but he did help lead them to the playoffs. No, he just like who, they had a fill position. Who else did you want a quarterback? What that Peterman guy? Or what was his name? Did it matter? It didn't matter. Obviously, defense was that good. If Trent Dilfer can win a Super Bowl, anybody can play a quarterback on a good defensive team. Trent Dilfer was on that <laughs> Ravens team that was absolutely garbanzo. <laughs> wow. You could have been the quarterback. <laughs> Yeah, all I threw shade at Trent Dilfer. Trent Dilfer, all I know is for, like he does the Elite 11 stuff, and he's an NFL analyst. I didn't yeah. even know. Really... He was on a Ravens team that had the single-handedly best defense of all time, and they won a Super Bowl, and he was literally probably bottom five quarterback in NFL. Were we alive? 2002? Absolutely. We were alive. I was yes. four. <laughs> Sween Dog? Uh, yeah, I was four. Good. So. Also, yeah. it wasn't 02. When was it? When was it? Sweet. <laughs> ah, I lost that tissue. That's what you're here for. The reason it's not 02 is because that's when the Raiders. Oh, I lost the yeah. Buccaneers. God, that is a. That's a you, okay, I snarfed it. Oh well, wow. big snarf. It doesn't matter. Check it, your facts. You didn't even computer know right here. Okay, I did. And Quay Kershaw's not reliable in the that. postseason. That's what I found. You're gonna go. He's gonna go back. Right. We're talking about anyway, the NFL. We're talking he goes NFL. back to Kershaw. Yes, because I'm a big Dodger hater. Let's go back now. God. To NFL games this week. Yes, we went same amount of games last week. We won. So eight, good for eight. us. Good for us. It wasn't. Yeah, we had eight. Was, you yeah, had yep, eight. Yep, 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 yep. So we're gonna go this week. We're gonna go with our picks. Then we're gonna go with our statisticians' picks, who Sweet knows more numbers pick. than us. Right. Obviously. And then he's gonna give us a little roundup, maybe a cool stat from last week. We'll go with the game of the week, which I think we all agree is the Chiefs and the Patriots. Story time. <laughs> we can tell stories. <laughs> you have a story about what? I might have one by the end of this. <laughs> okay. I'm a good storyteller. I'm going to ask you, or we're going to go in order. Let's go to Thursday night game. Eagles at Giants. Who are you going with? So, are you going to give yours, mine, and then I'm Sweeney's? asking you. We'll go Sweeney. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go you first. Okay. Um, Eagles. Okay. Sweeney? It's a tough one for me. Really? Really? This is tough? Yes. I actually... I'm going to stick with the Eagles. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. You dirty dog. You try to think about it a little bit. But... I'm not really liking how the Eagles are playing right now, no. man. Two and like three the now. Are ass. Their hangover is just <laughs> unreal. Wow. Potty mouth. I love it. Ass? <laughs> <laughs> you said it again. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I don't understand your mindset right now. I don't either. I love it. Okay, Buccaneers at Falcons. Um, we all went, I went Eagles too, by the way. I don't know why I raised my hand. I'm not in class. Yeah, just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Would you say Sally? <laughs> Atlanta Falcons. Okay. Sweet. I'm going to pick the Falcons. All right, we're all going with the Falcons on that one, just for us to probably all be wrong. Yeah. Interesting one to me. Um, Panthers at Redskins. Uh, uh, I'm going to go Carolina. Sweet. Sweet. I'm going to pick Washington. I think I'm going to Washington, too. They're, even though they got absolutely destroyed Monday night by the Saints, mm. they're still a top five defense by in the, the way. League. Yeah, shout out to Drew Brees. Brees. Congratulations. Unreal. Just a pro. I mean, what are you going to do? He's the reason why short quarterbacks... He's the reason why Baker's number one pick. And why Russell Wilson's in the league. Yes, the only reason why is because he had so much success as a sixth foot quarterback. I love Drew Brees. I don't don't think there's anybody in this world that hates him as a quarterback. There's not a guy like... I was going to say, it's easy to root for a guy like Drew Brees. I hate that guy. Not like Plays the game hard, competes. Yes. Very good. Congrats, Drew Brees. Seahawks at the Raiders. Ooh. Raiders. <laughs> you going with the Raiders this yeah, week? Yep. Yeah. Sweeney, I know you're a Raiders fan back there. What are you going with that, man? Can you pick against them? Absolutely not. I cannot. Yeah. I'm going to pick the Raiders. Okay. You know what? I'm a Raiders fan, too. We're all going Raiders. We're all this Raiders week. fans. Raider Good Nation. R.I.P. Al Davis. You know my pick for this next one, too. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is where USC bias comes in. Colts at Jets. J E T S Jets Jets. All right, settle down. Whoa! San Diego Christian table. You don't know how this could easily be only ten dollars a very break. Sp- right. Yeah, this is where all. Anyway, sorry. Let's not get that yeah. subject. I'm picking the Colts. Really? I have. Shame I think I'm you. going Colts too. I think they are too. I think. What is this team up against Brock Day? Or no, what? we're just smarter. Smarter. That's Come the back word. Next week, I bet you the Jets and the Raiders win. 
The Jets I haven't won back to back games this year. Yep, thank you. Yeah, Cardinals at Vikings. Minnesota. All right, let's make this a quick Minnesota. one. Minnesota. Minnesota around. Quick one. Interesting, interesting. Steelers at Bengals. This is a. Aren't they in the same division? Absolutely. Divisional matchup at Cincinnati. Tough place to play. Um, but I'm going Steelers. Like, really? Steelers. I'm picking Pittsburgh too because really? I think since he always. <laughs> Wets the bed at home. Yep. Against Pittsburgh. He's a bed wetter. <laughs> Wet better. I'm going with the Bengals because Love. they're just I think they're ready to show that their potential is finally tapped and they're actually better than what they think. And I don't think the Steelers I can do anything think, about Lady. I don't Young. think the Bengals are good at all. Really? They only won, lost one game. So I don't know about that. Yeah. I just don't like the Bengals. Okay, let's go Chargers at Browns. Okay, now we're talking about the real rookie quarterback. Who are you picking for this week? <laughs> Speaking of me bandwagon about Sam Darnold, you are all over Baker Mayfield just because he went to Oklahoma, huh? I mean, he has better record than the Jets. <coughs> he has better record yeah, than the Jets. He does. He was in those games they lost. Okay. Um. Obviously, you're going to Cleveland. Absolutely. Okay. I think they're still – but even besides the bias, I think the Browns are actually legit. I think their defense is – Amazing young core that is actually performing. I think he has offensive weapons. Great running back duo. You have Hyde, Duke Johnson, Nick Chubb. Even third string running back Nick Chubb, not bad. Landry, not a bad guy. Antonio Cowley is one of the fast guys in the league. I think the Bengals, or wow, I said the Bengals. I need to sober up. The Browns are actually a legit team okay. that Baker's in the perfect system for. I really think they're going to be the Chargers. Are I you, think I don't think it's been close this week. Are you done? Yeah, Swinney, what do you think with this one? I'm going Chargers. I'm actually going the opposite direction. I think the Chargers are going to pull a blowout. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I like that. I don't think so. I just... Dude, the Chargers, wants, especially when they get Bosa back. Yeah, but that's when they get him. They're yeah, not. Play, they he's him. not playing this week. No. All right, now on to the next game. The Bears. The surprising Bears against the Dolphins. Who are you going with that? You picked the Dolphins um, last week. I did, and I don't like what they did for me. Uh, I'm going to go Bears. I actually like Mitchell Trubisky. I don't know I if I like him, but I, think, I love their defense. I think he's a good young quarterback. The Bears. Yeah, yeah that, that's the all Bears. around. The Bears. The Bears. Cleo Mack. <laughs> Cleo Mack. All right, now let's go with the best team in football really easy right pick. now. Rams <laughs> at the Broncos. Uh, Rams. Rams? Yeah, Rams. Rams. That wasn't – yeah, I don't think that's much of a debate on there. I don't think that's what we'd really talk about. Ravens at Titans. Um, that's an interesting game. I'm going to Baltimore. I'm going to pick Tennessee. Really? Okay. Yes. Re- Baltimore's been playing super. I mean, yeah, they lost to the Browns, but. Baltimore Damn. could not find their offense against the Browns, man. If they can't find That's their true. offense against the Tennessee Titans, one of the best defenses in the league, they do that not have a chance. True. I think that is one game wow. that, if it's on TV, not I will watching. not turn, tune into. Right. I really don't think that's going to be the most. I don't, nine to six final. Yeah, nine. Yeah, it's going to be the same. Game. Yeah, Red Sox are going to score more than you them love combined. That. Red Sox are going to score more than them combined. Let's go with a different one. Let's go with the Jaguars this and the Cowboys. Good, I actually think this is going to be a good game. I don't think so at all. But I absolutely hate the Cowboys and think Dak Prescott is one of the most overrated quarterbacks I've ever seen in NFL history. Okay. Go on. You, they were talking about like how they punted on the opponent's forty-two yeah. yard line. That is soft. How do you one. not go for that? You have arguably the you have best Ezekiel running back. Yeah, yeah, arguably the best offensive line, best running back in football. That's what you did. That's Jason Garrett. I just saw something right now before this, too. If Jason Garrett's not best friends with Jerry Jones, he is literally fired on any other team. Mm. Their production in the last couple years with him coaching is just so I don't know. I mean terrible. That's just bad. How do you punt on the when you're on opponent's territory? the opponent's side of the field and you're going to punt on fourth and one. You have a chance to win the game. I just But you, you go to lose the game. Wow. I don't know. What's something funny, <coughs> it's not funny, but it's kind of funny too, is I saw a quote today on Blake Bortles, and they said, the Jacksonville Jaguars are one quarterback injury away from being a contender. So they're saying one that... One quarterback if, injury? Yeah, they're saying that if Bortles is not... Why? The, because he's, actually, he's not good either. Why is he that bad? Yeah, I know. I mean, I know he's not Swinney, that good. what do you think is your opinion on that? Why is he that bad? Blake Bortles is a run-first quarterback. He, except he doesn't have the speed to do it. Yeah. He's he can run. He gets some yards when he runs. So. He's like a Mike Vick attitude with a Peyton Manning body. Yeah. And wow. when he throws the ball, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't he work. Throws, he can't throw a spiral. He is so good. He can't <laughs> question, question for you, because you also were shaking your head when I was talking about how Dak is kind of overrated. Opinion on that? Would you rather have right now Blake Bortles or Dak Prescott? Um, probably Dak. 
I, I really? think me too. if I were, I think so too. But there's I, just I would, more versatility there. I think for me, it's only because Dak's going to make less mistakes, and he can run. And Bortles is going to make run. a ton of mistakes, which he has done his whole career. Mm-hmm. His whole career, pretty much, other than his first year. Yeah. But we can bo- can we agree on they're both just not quarterbacks? Yeah, I don't think they're the franchise. they're franchise quarterbacks I don't at think all. So I think I Dak mean, is super for, overrated. For Dak's, I mean. He, he went a like third, a stretch. He, he was a third round pick. I he mean, also he went a, a stretch of like eleven or something games where he couldn't throw over two hundred yards. Right, but he wasn't a big franchise like turnaround pick. He was a third round pick. Okay, so what, if he was a first so round pick, he's a, he's that doesn't a, mean he's anything a, though. So how come Russell Wilson is Russell Wilson supposed to be bad? Then right, he's a third round pick. Tom Brady's a six round pick. What is a draft? No, no, I'm not. I mean, I know they turn out to be good, but it's not like they base their whole franchise off that pick. That's what I'm saying. I, that is true, but at the same time, you're putting the quarterback out there supposed to lead your franchise in the best direction. Right. For and right they now, agree. That's the, and they that's believe the best right, they have. They right now. believe right now is Dak Prescott. They could have drafted a quarterback last year. Yeah, but they believe in Prescott and Zeke. And that's what I'm saying. They don't. I don't think they should believe in Dak. I don't think he's that good of a quarterback. Yeah, I, I think he's a game manager. I think he's Alex Smith with the 49ers. But even Alex Smith has a better arm. But with the 49ers, Alex Smith. He was a game manager. That guy right, didn't throw the ball true. downfield he, at all. Yeah, he was like check he, down. They, uh, and they were a good team. I'm interested on because we're on the topic of Dak. I just want to see his stats for this year. They're probably not very good. No, I already spit on my own computer. <laughs> you dirty dog. So I already see right here. He only has five touchdowns this year. So they have a two and three record. He is completing sixty-one percent of his passes, nine hundred sixty-one yards in five games. So he's not even averaging two hundred yards a game. Five touchdowns, four interceptions. Not good. That's not good at all. At least Bortles sometimes can accidentally have a great game. Well, I wouldn't take either of those. Let's go back to the picks. Let's, let's go, go back. Let's now see. we're going um, to the Sunday night game. That great game. Great right? game. You expect it to be a great game. I think this game might be over eighty points total. With the Chiefs and the Patriots on that, I, I think. Mean, yeah, I think someone shows up and plays a little bit of defense. I don't think the pack, the both teams are bottom probably five ten defense in the league. Yeah, and their is, offenses are probably the top is, ten. At, it's in New England, you know it's a tough place to play there. Mahomes, I know uh, he hasn't really let anything phase him, especially that Denver game. Um, he didn't play too well last game, but he still had three hundred yards. And I mean, right? He, he and I, don't, I don't think I don't think um, the venue really gets you know Mahomes worried. Obviously, no. I think he plays great in this game. I think it's another over three hundred yard game. I think it's a three touchdown game for Mahomes, and I think the Chiefs win. On the road. I'm going to be a conspiracy theorist here. So last year, the Chiefs started the season 5-0. and This year, the Chiefs started the season 5-0. and And then they lost. So I'm picking the Pats. Okay. Really? I'm going to go out on a limb and go with the Chiefs by two touchdowns. Okay. I think it's going to be the battle of offenses, and I don't see how the Patriots offense right now is better than Chiefs. It's yes, not. they have Gronk, but I just don't see... <clears throat> I mean, maybe Gordon Elderman shows up, but the Chiefs' offense has not what let me down yet. What happened to Chris Hogan? Is that guy not even like a... Who? I Hulk thought... Hogan? Because they're playing the same way right now. <laughs> Chris Hogan I mean, is... I thought he was supposed to be their number one, and, and Brady doesn't even throw the ball to him. I mean, yeah, they got Josh Gordon, but I thought Hogan was going to be like their little Julian Edelman guy, but yeah, better. You know? That's interesting, yeah. All right, let's oh, go yeah, to the Monday night, night game. Also. Yeah. Monday night game. Monday night game that nap I'm night. not going to watch that I'd rather be in class in. 49ers at Packers. Are we all going Packers? Did we even discuss this? Can we just go on to the stat of the day? Let's I mean, go. Right. Good luck, C.J. Beathard. Swing dog, give us a stat of the week. What is something that stuck out to you that our viewers should? Stat of the week, Drew Brees. 100%. Passes Peyton Not, Manning yeah, Peyton for Manning. all-time passing yards. He actually passed far, too, right? Yeah, passed. Give a little Golf clap clock. for Drew Brees. Congratulations, Drew Brees. Congratulations, Drew Brees. Yeah. Congratulations, Drew six Brees. Feet, people six feet and under, you have hope in this world. Yeah. You have a future. If you have a cannon. If not, you have no future. Drew Brees did not have a cannon. He does have a great arm and accuracy. It's not a great arm. It's a pretty good arm. He's accurate. It's a pretty good arm. He wasn't known for a good arm, though. He He still has a good arm. Yeah, he has a good arm, but it's not like a hand cannon. Of course. It's not not Mahomes or uh, Joe Flacco in his prime. Yeah. Joe Flacco in his prime, man. He could swing the ball. That guy at Delaware could really throw the ball. Yeah. Chuck it a quarter mile. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Over the mountain. All right, um, yeah. Well, thanks for joining us this that week. That does it for uh, episode we two. Yeah, we went well. Appreciate Swing Dog back there. Of course. Holding down the camera. And How do you guys like the hat? Set. Do you guys like the hat? Are they going to answer your question right now? I don't know. How could I answer it? Through a camera? 
Maybe. I was just wondering. Oh, answer it in the guy. comments. Make, right, comments. Yeah, comment. comment. If you like comment the hat. about his hat. Good golf hat. Comment I about like his golf. hat. I like golf. And put your opinions. You know, how about put your opinions postseason play? Who do you guys think is going to win the World Series? Absolutely. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you guys. Well, thank you guys for coming in and stay Thanks going, Pony Boys. <laughs>